Hi guys, so with Eid coming up soon, I thought of doing an Eid special series showing you different looks that you can wear according to your preference. So this is the first part of the series where I'm going to show you how to create this easy smoky eye. And in today's tutorial, I've used all affordable drugstore products. So I hope you enjoy. So to save some time, I've already primed my face using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and I've applied my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. For my concealer today, I'm using my Maybelline H Rewind Concealer and I'm applying it under my eyes to highlight and cover up my dark circles. And I'm also applying it on my eyelid as a base. Then to blend it out, I'm using this sponge that I got from Smart Shopping BD. So as you can see, I'm not dragging it, I'm just gently pressing it to blend it out. Now to set my concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder with the Real Techniques Setting Brush. Next I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Purple Velvet and applying it on my eyelid as a base for my eyeshadow. If you don't have this shade, you can just use black. I've used purple as I wanted to bring out the deep purpley shade of the eyeshadow more. Then with a synthetic fluffy brush, I'm blending out the edge of the base. For today's look, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Iconic 3 palette. Now the shades in this palette doesn't have any name or number, so I'm just going to number them in order from left to right so that it's easier for you to understand. So I started off with shade number 7 with a fluffy blending brush and I applied it on my crease. Then for my transition shade and to bring some warmth to my eye look, I'm using this peachy pinkish blush from the e.l.f. blush palette with a fluffy blending brush. If you want, you can also use a similar color eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this matte off-white shade with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm applying it on my brow bone to highlight. Then for my lid shade, I'm taking shade number 12 with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm packing it all over my lid, staying under the crease. You might have some fallout with such dark shade, in that case it'll be better if you do your foundation after your eye makeup. To blend out the harsh line, I'm using my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Be patient at this stage and keep blending as this step can make or break the look. Then to help the blending process, I'm taking shade number 7 with the same brush and going over the edge again. Keep repeating this step as long as it doesn't get blended properly. Then I'm going in again with a fluffy blending brush to blend everything out. Next I'm taking shade number 2 with an EcoTool Spit It eye shading brush and applying it on my inner corner to highlight. Then with an Eco Tools flat liner brush, I'm taking shade number 12 and applying it close to my lower lashes. Then with a smudge brush, I'm taking shade number 9 and smoking out my lower lash line. Next I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cold Pencil to line my waterline and also to tight line. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm using this Maybelline Master Precise Liner to darken my upper lash line a little so that it gives some definition to my eyes. So I'm not really doing any wing or anything like that, I'm just simply stamping it on my lash line. For my mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. For my lashes today, I'm using this Eyler Lashes in number 117. So I'm applying my Duo Lash Adhesive on the lash band and then I'll wait a little for the glue to get tacky so that it's easier to apply. So I'm placing it close to my lashes and then I'm just securing both the ends in place. Now it's time for the brows. So here I'm using my e.l.f. brow kit to fill and shape my brows. Then I'm running my brow spoolie over it so that it blends out nicely and looks natural. Today for my contouring, I'm using my e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo in Antigua. So with a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm contouring my cheekbones. To figure out where to put the color, just suck in your cheeks and that'll emphasize the hollows of your cheeks and that's where you have to contour. With an e.l.f. angled blush brush, I'm using the blush from the same e.l.f. palette and applying it on the apples of my cheeks. Then to highlight my face, I'm using the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter with an e.l.f. brush and I'm applying it on my cheekbones. I'm also putting a little on the tip of my nose and my chin to highlight. Now on to the lips. So today I'm using this Revlon lipstick in the shade Sassy Mauve. As I wanted a glossy look today, so I'm using my Maybelline Elixir Lip Gloss in the shade Caramel Infused. I absolutely love these glosses as they stay on for a very long time and they're not sticky at all. So here's the finished look. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial then please like, share and comment and make sure you subscribe to see the upcoming parts to this series. Hope you are all having a great Ramadan and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.